Hi, Michelle here from strawberry.com and today is a craft room tour and a little bit of the makeover process that happened in making this. Welcome to my craft room. So a lot of um, people have asked me why I changed rooms. Um, this was my son's bedroom and then I changed it into a guest room when he went off to the army. And then this summer when I realized he didn't really live here anymore, I decided to make it into my craft room. It is still a very small room. It is only 10 inches wider than my old craft room, but it also has a closet. So 10 inches in a closet is why I went to all the work. So I'm going to give you kind of an overall feel for the room first and then as the video goes on, I will get more and more like what's where and everything. That is the door into my room from the rest of the house. On the floor beside it is my backpack for school. And then I have cube storage. And then I have my um, counter desk that I have in the background of most of my videos and my pegboard. So the pegboard we actually put up when this was my son's room. So that he could store a bunch of his stuff and I am still kind of rearranging and moving things around and figuring out what I want. Um, I love this countertop. I've got the IKEA shelves below and some cube storage below. In the very center of the room is this very large desk. Now in my old craft room I had the desk against the wall but I really like it out in the middle so that I can really see everything around. It is huge and I've thought about replacing it, but this desk belonged to my dad and the fact that it's huge gives me lots of space to use to spread out and look at how big the drawers are. They just go on and on forever. My desktop is um, gray and I think that that color is calming and soothing, especially on camera. My countertop. So this countertop was $20 on clearance at Ikea. They did not have the legs that I wanted in stock. And my neighbor had thrown out a three-legged end table that had these beautiful wood um, lathed legs on them. And so I took two of those legs off and spray painted them hot pink and attached them underneath my counter. Oops, I guess I need to paint that. I never see that from the top. Um, but I just love the way these legs turned out and I'm so happy that Ikea was out of the legs that I wanted. Some more Ikea storage, that one's new to me, with some more of the cube storage up above it, almost to the ceiling. The curtains here are from Tuesday morning. I got them on clearance. They were $20 for all four panels. And there is my two star blue star mom flag. and my Ikea cart. As I look out this window, we have the neighbor's yard, then you cross the street and you have other people's yards, but then you can see a little glimpse of the lake in the background. So that's a lot of fun. Then over here, I have my VFW Teacher of the Year certificate and my certificate that I have a crater on Mars called Strawberry Land. And I have some you know, like Walmart white shelves with some of the cube storage above it. This is mainly like kid type craft storage. And then I have jewelry storage down there at the bottom. Next to that shelf, I have another window. And this looks right onto my husband's new shop and the door for a shop. So he could be working out there and I could be working in here and um, we, I can get a glimpse of him. So my curtain rods are actual pieces of the legs that I use to hold up my counter and they are glued onto a dowel rod and the whole thing spray painted pink. I love that I have a custom look for the, about the price of really cheap curtain rods. Below the window I have an old shelving unit that I think was gifted to me when I got married 30 years ago. Um, a lot of fabric type things in those bins. I still need to mount that on the wall. I do have my paper cutters over here. Then I have this antique sewing case with my sewing machine underneath it where I keep most of my sewing stuff. 
and of course a fan. Here is the main reason that I moved rooms and that is the closet. So the closet is pretty much a mess, but it holds some of those bigger, not as pretty things. I've got a little shelving unit in there to hold a bunch of stuff. I have like storage containers for scrapbooking if I want to go someplace. I have a big tub of Homecoming Mums stuff. If you don't know what that is, look up Texas Homecoming Mums and you'll see. Um, I have a place for canvases. Um, I have my ribbon storage on display before, but right now I just have it hanging up in my closet. Past the closet, I have another um, white shelving unit. Um, this one is mostly paper crafting and stamping and mixed media. At the top right now, I have a bunch of birthday cards because I had a birthday earlier this month. Not a single handmade card. Oh, wait. On display behind my desk, I have my single handmade card and that was made by my mother and she sewed it. Here I have envelopes, miscellaneous, string. Here I have cards that I have completed. So this is, actually it was a Dollar Tree bin that was green that I used in my classroom and they don't sell the size anymore, but I really like this size. So I covered it with some paper and some Mod Podge. Um, I made myself little dividers. So I have all occasion cards and I have birthday cards and I have thank you cards and get well cards and other cards so that I always have some on hand when I need a card. So here I have another one of those bins. This one has spray inks in it. Six by six paper. This one has mixed media supplies in it. So we have watercolor sets, jelly plates, um, my acrylic paint markers, some pastels, um, different things like that are in here. I have some essential oils, didn't know where else to put them. They don't go really go with this stuff, but it's here. Here I have wood mounted stamps, occasions, hearts, dinosaurs, miscellaneous, flowers, and backgrounds. So you're going to see a lot of these containers. I love these containers. I have had these for a long time because my children are growing out of the house. But these were Chubbs Baby Wipes containers. And they look like little Legos. And they open and, and they are just perfect for storing so many different things. I use these all the time. My little Lego boxes that were wipes containers back in the day. Down here we have a stool. Now this is an Ikea stool. You can see from the underside that it used to be green. It was in my son's room and I took it apart and spray painted the top pink. Um, this is big stamps and like school stamps. Like I have money and I have time clocks, um, paper strips and um, paper backgrounds, um, basically scraps that I've cut up into different shapes like um, hexagons and flowers and stuff. And then down here is all like acrylic paint stuff and then my big sticker binder. On my pegboard wall, I have some lights and a feather boa and a sign that says strawberry. I have um, a doll that my son got me while he was deployed. This section is kind of more my tool section with duct tape and screwdrivers and hammers and stuff. And then this is more of my crafting section over here. I like this shelf. It is made by just using a board and putting it over these pegboard things. And these jars are actually peanut butter jars that I spray painted the lids and I put small pieces of ribbon in them, divided by a color. On top of my desk counter, I've got my die cutting machines and I have my heat tool and my glue gun. I have my computer monitor up on a crate so this crate I actually sourced out of a dumpster behind a Pier 1 back when I was in college. And it's a wood crate and I painted it white. And then the papers and stuff in there are like files I need to deal with and stuff. My 12 by 12 paper is organized here in rainbow order. And then at the bottom I have like multicolored fun. I have boy related for my children and then I have a Christmas section. In this container, I have 
things like books, um, telephone books, tissue paper. Um, sometimes when I get packaging material that I just think is interesting, that I could do something with, maybe in mixed media or something, um, I throw it in here. And then um, paper bags. And then down here is stuff that um, I might be working on for the moment or stuff I bought at Dollar Tree that I need to um, do something with. Um, so this is like in progress type stuff. Right here I have a bag that I take to Bible study with my Bible study book in it. All right, this is my Alex that I've had forever. So the labels came from Dollar Tree and inside this one has embossing stuff with this is actually a checkbox and the others are Dollar Tree bins. This drawer has markers and pens in it. This drawer has sentiment stamps in it, both wood and um, clear. This one has my alphabet stamps and my big tools like my paper cutter and my stamp positioner, my envelope maker. Big tools that I use a lot. And this one has inks and tags in it. And this one has punches and stuff in it. These bins that are underneath my countertop table, I've had for a while and I really like them. They are Ikea, they have wheels on the bottom. And I have my paper sorted by color inside here. So this one's just all rainbow. And this one has the black, whites, and browns, but it also has paper, 12 by 12 paper packs and stuff in it. This trash can was my dad's and I've had it since I was a little girl when he gave it to me. Over here, this is just my leftover storage that I had in my previous craft rooms. This cube storage, um, wire cube storage, I think I originally got it at Hobby Lobby. Up here at the top, I have, actually think these are empty extra bins. This has some of my Lil Rose hair accessories in it. This has floral, I need to move it, but it worked here. My embossing folders. And then here I have like my journaling Bible, uh, my planner, my um, art journal. Um, I keep my stencils in these little binders. These are my new Alex drawers. So in here I have ink blending things. This one was stuff that I hadn't figured out a poem for yet. I'm still working on it. It is a work in progress. This is confetti and sequins. I have a whole drawer dedicated to glitter. This drawer has washi tape. Again, these are just the little containers you can get from Dollar Tree. This drawer has embellishments. Move down. This is fabric paints and dyes. This one is heat transfer vinyl. And this one has my melting pot and some other, like my, my little craft iron and, and stuff in it. In this drawer, I'm keeping my stamp sets and I made dividers for them. So as you can see, they're alphabetical. So this background stamps and celebrations, um, craft supplies, flowers in nature. So they are organized. And then in the back, I have die cuts and um, I have some pens that I don't use quite as often. I'm not gonna let you see in this drawer because this is like regular, writing pens and stuff and just regular type office supplies. Down here, this one's messy too. This has kits, just bags of kits that come together. The middle drawer, it, it has a middle drawer and that has, you know, your regular office-y type things. Over here, I have more office supplies, you know, like a regular stapler and a three hole punch. And then this one is just office type files. One thing, another thing that I like about this desk is it on both sides has these little things that you can pull out and you can work on and gives you some extra surface space. On my cart here, I have things that I use all the time. I've got paintbrushes up here and I have like post-it notes and still kind of, you know, deciding exactly what needs to be in here. Some foam tape, some scissors, um, paper scraps that I'm working from. I have a set of acrylic paints that I can pull from quickly, 
my Distress Oxide inks, and then I have adhesives down here. At the top of this shelf, I have some fabric and I have buttons. So I have, I think, four jars of these buttons that I inherited from my mom. The bucket's not always going to be there, but it has my rubber duckies because I'm going ducking jeeps. These two baskets are ribbon that's still on spools. This one has some electronic type things in it. Here are some more of those cute little wipes boxes. So you can see that I have used them forever and they have different labels on them because I've labeled them at different times, but they're all correct. This one does have dinosaurs and this one does have rocks in it, so and feathers. Um, again, more kids type stuff. This is more like miscellaneous kids things like weaving looms and a bag of Legos. So over here I have some cork and a box that holds chipboard that's from Ikea. Um, some record albums that um, and some records that make great crafting supplies. Right here I have a um, Dollar Tree basket of adhesives. This is like extras for when I run out or things that I don't use quite as often. And then over on this side it's labeled chemicals and it has everything from Goo Gone and shaving cream to um, isopropyl rubbing alcohol, salt, just anything that would kind of fit in that category. On this shelf, I have these fabric books from an upholstery store. Um, this one says Japan. It's a craft that I got from Japan um, and I'd really like to show y'all sometime and I, hopefully I will make that video sometime soon. I have a box of seashells. Everything in this container is leather. There's a box of like guides and magazines. My bottom shelf is mostly jewelry, um, divided kind of silver and gold and natural. And um, I also have a place where I have mugs that I can decorate. I don't actually get the Simon Says Stamp kit anymore, but I love the boxes and I'll put like projects that I'm in progress working on. Moving over to this other shelf, but first of all, I have this cute, colorful rag rug that can double as a dog bed. And this is my tripod for my light. And I've got patterns, felt, a lot of t-shirts. You can see like that's lace and cords and trim. Um, so most of the stuff is fabric related. I have yarn and deco mesh as well on this side. So this little antique sewing table does have a lot of my sewing supplies in it. Um, the foot's just sitting out on the table right now because I didn't put it away. Um, I love how this turns out and you can have like um, thread and stuff right there. And then that's a drawer that has stuff in it. And I have a fan because I'm in Texas and it's really hot here. And I have my ring light. This is a painting that I did in a online class with Sacred Yoli Designs. Check her out. My chair is an Ikea chair. I don't know if they still sell this color, but this, I think they do sell the style. And it's actually super comfortable. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. And uh, that's my craft room. So this is my craft room. I hope that you enjoyed the tour. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And have a great day. Toodles. Thank you.